Hi there, Chris here. <clears throat> I have the Brummy Pick My Corbin lock here. And um, I'm going to talk about it just a little bit first. It has been going around, it has a book, and you get to pick on it and then to say how long you uh, ended up picking on it. And also, if you got whooped, or got it open. So far, every one has been whooped. Um, it is a U.S. Corbin with a hex shackle. Um, and I'll show you a little bit about this. You see, as a plate here, if you look really closely, you can see a little plug there and a little plug there. And so what's, what that is about, I have another Corbin here. This Corbin. And this is what it looks like without the plate. And one of these holds the plug in, and one of these holds the shackle in. So that's how all that works. Um, I looked around see if I could find it uh, what QA this is uh, one of the things I want to do is if we look on here we see it says 8p62048 um, and so what I wanted to do is send a picture of this to the real Jeff Moss uh, because he's the code master and he may have a code be able to code cut a, a key for this. And if we had a key uh, that actually a working key, we could see if it was getting hung up on the actuator or not. We do have this one that this somewhat sometimes gets hung up. And this you can see is essentially set up the same way. Um, it's about the same vintage, although it's not a US one. But it does, in certain places, the actuator hangs up. Um, but something kind of cool about it, I'll clean this off a little bit, is this is the key way for it. Now this is a Kel key, but if you go and you look up 60D is that is that 60D it's really hard to make out but it does this is the key this is the keyway so of course it's not the right beating but it does move this so it's not getting hung up at that point it may be getting up hung up further along anyway also, oh, I forgot to do this. Um, the Ghost Locks had a giveaway. It was a very, very, very cool giveaway. And um, I think there were two winners. I'm not sure. I th I'm getting it mixed up with somebody else, but I may. Um, but he did say anybody who entered... Um, give me your email I have something to send you and he sent out really a couple of really cool stickers so the ghost locks thank you thank you thank you um, back to the Corbin so it's too bad that key doesn't work but maybe Jeff Moss can come up with something so let's try and pick it I have uh, tried to shim it if we look at this one You can, see, you can see it really only has, um, you know, one one locking pole on, on, on only on one side. And this one's so old that the little retaining pin is busted off or whatever, and there's no spring in it. But uh, I've tried to shim this one. It is virtually, <laughs> to my, in my opinion, unshimmable. 
I've tried little ones, I've tried big ones, I've tried kicking this over, and uh, they fit. You can get them in there, but as you come around, the shape of that locking lug or paw um, cut out just spits it out. All right, let's try and pick this. So, if I want to try and pick it clockwise, which I do, um, I put this Mad Bob's in here kind of side saddle, and I have plenty of room to pick in here. And I'll use my regular pick. And I'll use some rakes, and I'll use some foul language, probably. And sometimes if it has a like a balky actuator um, sometimes if you push in on the at the back of the core you can put put the core or the plug in the position so it won't hang up and won't get that hitch um, you can also try pulling it out which is more difficult but ultimately if you don't have a plug that's free to move to set pins and and drop over sets and and all that you kind of you get picked into a corner and you you can't open the lock so if you had a key then you could see how balky it was or maybe it's not balky at all maybe it's just a super 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 brummy the super brummy I don't feel any compressed springs in there. I don't feel anything weird. When I do get sets, I set like these other Corbins. Um, except that you just can't finish it up. There, I got a nice movement on the core there, but minimal. So at this point, um, I would be used to like trying to find the next one and the next one and about that point I'd be in with the Corbins that I have picked. So minimal setting, maybe two optimistically three but there's more than three pins in here and can I count them let's see if I go all the way to the back one two three four five and six I believe it's a six pinner We can't tell because it is a solid plate on it. Um, here, if you look at this, you can start picking them out. One, two, three, four. And then you can't see here. I'm sure there's a fifth one there. I doubt if there's a sixth one. Oh, well, count the key, stupid. All right, so are we focused? Is it just me? One, two, three, four, five. It's a five pinner. So maybe this is five, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Where was I? Getting whooped. Getting whooped up on. All right, so let's go in here some more. And I won't go on forever. This will be a first attempt. I have I have till Wednesday to send it off to the next victim. I'm gonna start in the back. And I'm gonna use this half diamond. 
sometimes I use for these or Yale's. And being an old dude, my my patience level is nothing like Murlocs. I quit it about the time he's just he's just blowing the frost off and getting warmed up. But different picking styles. And I'm going to try this double peak. First pin likes to set. <laughs> don't know man uh, if I put my larger tension wrench in there if I drop it down so that it fits the little whoops <coughs> this little bend fits the lock I can tension off the top I have to kick it away from the lock a little bit but I can get all kinds of tension on there and it seems to not get in the way. If it did, I use a loony tick and pop that first pin. Give me my pick back. Give me my lunar back. All right. And then continue picking. There's lots of room in here. There's just not lots of sets. But I don't have trouble, I don't have trouble top tensioning it. Which means nothing if you can't pick the damn thing. So, anyway, I think call it here and call this a, a first shot. Yep. Okay, so that was the first attempt on this uh, Pick My Corbin Brummy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, uh, subscribe. Certainly leave a comment or leave a comment, like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.